Hi all, this is Tanishka from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session. Today I am here with a new topic that is Azure App Services. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. Also, if you are interested in Azure online certification and training, then do check out the link given below in the description. So let's quickly have a glance on today's agenda. So today we'll be discussing about what is Azure App Service, followed by why we use Azure App Service. And then we'll look on to some of the App Service application types. And then we'll learn about what is App Service Plans. And we'll have a quick demo on the Azure App Services. And lastly, we'll study about the pricing tiers. What is Azure App Service? The Azure App Service is an HTTP-based service for hosting, web application, REST APIs, and mobile backends. It is a platform as a service where you can develop in your favorite language, be it .NET, .NET Core, Java, Ruby, Node.js, PHP, or Python. With Azure App Service, you pay for the Azure compute resources you use. The compute resources you use are determined by the App Service plan that you can run on your apps. So in simple words, if we say, Azure App Service is a web-based service that hosts web application, REST APIs, and mobile backends. Now let's see why do we use Azure App Services. Azure App Service is a fully managed platform as a service offering for developers. So here are some key features of Azure App Service. Firstly, multiple language and frameworks. So here, the App Service has a first-class support for ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, Java, Ruby, Node.js, PHP, or Python. You can also run PowerShell and other scripts or executables as background services. Looking forward, manage production environment. Here, the App Service automatically patches and maintains the OS and language frameworks for you. You can spend time writing great apps and let Azure worry about the platform. Next is containerization and Docker. You can dockerize your app and host custom Windows or Linux container in the app services. You can also run multi-container apps with Docker Compose and migrate your Docker skills directly to the app service. Next is DevOps optimization. So here you can set up continuous integration and deployment with Azure DevOps, GitHub, Bitbucket, Docker Hub, or Azure Container Registry. You can also promote updates through test and staging environments and manage your apps in the app service by using Azure PowerShell or cross platforms like command line interface. Next is global scale with high availability. Here you can scale up or scale out manually or automatically. You can also host your apps anywhere in Microsoft's global data center infrastructure and the App Service CLA promises high availability. Moving ahead, serverless code. So here you can run code snippet or script on demand without having explicitly provisions or manage infrastructure and pay only for the compute time your code actually uses. Next is application templates. So here you can choose from an extensive list of application templates in the Azure marketplace such as WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. Last but not the least, security and compliances. So here, App Service is ISO, SOC, and PCI compliant. You can authenticate user with Azure Active Directory, Google, Facebook, Twitter, or Microsoft account. You can also create an IP address restrictions and manage the service identities. At last, connections to SaaS platform and on-premises data. So here you can choose from more than 50 connectors for enterprises systems such as SaaS services and internet services and access to on-premises data using hybrid connections and Azure virtual networks. So these were the key features which makes Azure App Service more demanding. Let's quickly have a look on some of the app service application types. So there are four app service application types that is web app, API app, logic app, 
and mobile app. So let's quickly look on to each one of them. So first is web app. Azure web apps are used for hosting websites and web applications. It lets us quickly build, deploy and scale enterprise grade webs, mobile and API apps running on any platform. It helps us to meet rigorous performance, scalability, security and compliance requirement while using a fully managed platform to perform an infrastructure maintenance. Next is API app. It is used for hosting RESTful APIs. The API app features make it easy to develop, host and consume APIs in the cloud or on-premises. The advantage of hosting APIs in Azure API app is that we will get enterprises gate security and simple access control, automatic SDK generation and seamless integration with Logic Apps. Next is Logic App. Logic Apps are used for business process automation, system integration and sharing data across clouds. And last, Mobile App. Mobile Apps are used for hosting mobile app backends where we can deploy our mobile backend services on Azure using Azure Mobile App. By implementing our mobile backend service on Azure, our mobile backend will be able to communicate with different Azure services. We can able to take the advantage of various features that are provided by Azure mobile apps. So these were the four app service application types. So let's quickly move on to our next topic that is app service plan. So to create an app service, you need an app service plan. Without an app service plan, you cannot create an app service. The app service plan consists of many components. So it means the app service is a baseline for the actual compute resources. Here, the app service plan can have multiple app services and in these each app services, we have different deployment slots. So what is deployment slots? Deployment slot allow your function apps to run different instances called slots. Slots are different environments exposed via publicly available endpoints. One app instance is always mapped to the production slot and you can swap instances assigned to the slot on demand. When you create an app service plan in a certain region, a set of compute resource is created for that plan in that region. So whatever apps you put into this app service plan runs on these compute resources as defined by your app service plan. So each app service plan defines the operating system. Maybe it is uh, Windows or Linux. Next is region. So it can be any region, whichever region of your choice you choose, whether it can be West US, East US, Central India, etc. And the size of the VM instances. So you can choose a uh, small, medium, large and for sure pricing tires. So there are different type of pricing tires such as free, shared, basic, standard, premium, premium version 2, premium version 3, isolated, isolated version 2, etc. So we'll look on to these pricing tires in further. So let's quickly have a small demo on Azure App Services. So for this, we need to move on to our Visual Studio Code. So let's quickly go on to our Visual Studio Code. and. The first thing we need to do is to create a folder. So I have already created a folder. Let's open that. That is Azure App Services. So I'll select this folder. And as you can see here, the folder is here. So within this folder, we'll be creating a .NET program. So let's open our terminal. Yeah, let's create our .NET program. .NET new. MVC. So here you can see your web application is being created and you can see all your folders are available over here. So as you can see, your program has been built successfully. Now let's run this program. So we'll just hit the command dot net run. All right. So here you can see it is building. So let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, so here you find your local host where your program has been 
created and it has run successfully. So just click on this link. This is the local host where our program is run. All right. So here you can see your in your local host, your program has been run successfully. Now, what do you need to do? You need to deploy it into the app services. So how do you do that? Let's go back to our Visual Studio code. Now for this, you need to have an extension that is Azure extension. So how do you do that? You just go to this extension tab and here you can just select Azure account and Azure app service. You need to install these two extensions to avail all the services. So as I have already installed these two accounts and Azure app service, so it's already feeded inside. So let's quickly move on to our Azure. And here, as you can see in our resources, our Azure Labs, this is our account where we can utilize all the services. So as you can see here, there are many services. Now, what do we need to do? Just click on the create resource and we'll select create app service web app. So we'll just click on this and we'll just give a unique name to our web app. So let's give it a new name, Azure Web App Demo 3. All right, so let's hit enter. So here they will be asking what type of language it is. So it is .NET 6 that has been recently used and they ask about the subscriptions that is our pricing tier. So let's take it free. And here our web application gets created. So as you can see, your web app has been created successfully. And here you can see our Azure Web App Demo 13 web application. So here, now what do we need to do is to deploy. So let's just right click and deploy to web app. So we'll just click over here and we'll just browse. So as you can see here, you can see our folder itself. So I don't have to like go into the folders and find my Azure app service demo, but I'll just quickly click on this and they ask permission for configuration. So just add configuration. And then they ask whether are you sure you need to deploy the Azure web app demo 13 or no. So just hit deploy. And as you can see, it's feeding, all the programs are being feeded in your Azure application. So here you can see all your packages and all your programs are being stored into the Azure portal, Azure app service. So let's wait till it gets completed. All right, so our deployment is successful. So now we'll just browse the website so just to check whether it has come into our Azure or no. Okay, so this is the link. We'll just follow this link and let's see. Yeah, so here you can see it is Azure Web App Demo 13 dot website dot .net. So it has been deployed successfully. So this is how you deploy into the Azure App Services. Now let's quickly move on to our Azure portal and let's check whether we can see it over there as well or no. So this is our Azure portal. So let's go to all services. So here you can see it, we have the web application Azure Web App Demo 13. So let's just go into it. Let's have an overview. All right. So as you can see over here, all your details are given over here. You can see all your metrics based on whatever files are there. And let's quickly move down and see our scale ups and scale down. That is our app service plan. So as we had chosen the free option, so here you can see this is our shared compute. So you can upgrade your tires based on your requirements. So as you can see here, different pricing tires are there. So here you have the recommended pricing tires. Based on that, you get your features. 
So the higher the tire, the more upgraded features you can avail in your Azure app services. So you can change it anytime whenever you need it. So for currently, like we have it for free. So we have no other features in it. So let's also check to our Azure service plan. Over here, you can get app service plans. So here you can see our app service plan and just view. So you get all your details over here. So here you can see your pricing tire is free and uh, your operating system is Windows and your one application is running. So there's one application created in your Azure app services. All right. So if you wish to see here, scale ups, same thing. So here also you can see anywhere you can just upgrade your tires based on whatever requirements you need to have. So this is how you work with Azure app services and it's quite pretty easy. So you can do it all through Azure portal as well, or you can do it with our visual studio code. Like how did we do it? So this is how you work with Azure app services. You can just feed in any of your desired programs or your web applications, and you can just directly put into your app services. So it's quite pretty easy. Like through visual studio code, you just need to hit some commands and you can directly like deploy your applications into the Azure portal. So this was all about the demo. And lastly, we come to our pricing tiers. The pricing tier of an app service plan determines what app service features you get and how much you pay for the plan. So the pricing tiers are available to your app service plan depending on the operating system selected at the creation time. So there are few categories of pricing tires that is shared compute, dedicated compute and isolated. In shared compute, we have free and shared two base tires that runs an app on the same Azure VM as other app services, including apps of other customers. These tires allocate CPU quotas to each app and that runs on the shared resources and these resources cannot be scaled out. Next is dedicated compute. In dedicated compute, we have basic, standard, premium, premium version 2, and premium version 3 tires that runs app on dedicated Azure VMs. Only apps in the same app service plan share the same compute resources. The higher the tire, the more VM instances are available to you for scale outs. And lastly, we have isolated. In this, we have two types of pricing tires that is isolated and isolated version 2. So these two tires run on dedicated Azure virtual networks. It provides network isolation on top of the compute isolation to your apps and also provides some maximum scale out capabilities. So this was all about Azure app services. I hope you enjoyed the session and got to know what is actually Azure app services. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.